Robert Dursa says happened inside his house and what police say are not even close. Detectives believe the 12 year old boy when he says his father and his father's wife abused him with handcuffs and a dog crate. News Channel 5 story done and spoke to his father. His side of the story you'll only see on five. Tori. Michael and Ashley, I spoke with Robert Dursa by the phone today. His attorney told him not to talk to me, but he wanted the chance to answer accusations against him. People sensationalize things and they don't know the whole story. And, and then, you know, it's ruining my life, making me sound like a monster. Robert Dursa II said the charges he and his wife Casey face are not true. Palm Springs police say they used a pair of handcuffs and a dog crate like this to punish his 12-year-old son. We believe there's credible, credible evidence that the victim was, in fact, um, either put into it or connected to it or handcuffed to it. In October, Department of Children and Families and police went to this house after the boy spoke to a counselor. The police report makes it clear investigating officers believed the boy's story. The child alleges that um, he was struck, he was grabbed, he was uh, restrained in this cage or in it or to it, and that um, he wasn't allowed to eat, he wasn't allowed to go to the bathroom, he uh, wasn't allowed to go into the refrigerator. And apparently this, uh, this initial or this last incident was caused because he actually went in the refrigerator. The boy's father told me in an exclusive interview by phone, for seven years he has tried to help his son deal with a litany of mental health issues, including reactive detachment disorder or RAD in which a child doesn't bond with his mother. Dursa also said his son is bipolar with schizophrenic tendencies. When he's stable, he's a wonderful little boy, but, but when, when, when he's not mentally feeling all there, everything just goes down the cracker. Did you guys handcuff him in that cage? No, never. So why did you have the cage with the handcuffs? That, that cage for the handcuffs, the cage with the handcuffs in it, is something for me and the wife that we like to role play. Dursa told me he did give up custody of his son to DCF. At this point, DCF will say that their investigation on this case is closed. The only other thing they'll say is that the boy is in licensed foster care. Meantime, police say their investigation is not over. We're live in Palm Springs, Tori Dunn in WPTV News Channel 5.